in electric power distribution, a recloser, or a torcloser, is a circuit breaker equipped with a mechanism that can automatically close the breaker after it has been opened due to a fault. Reclosers are used on overhead distribution systems to detect and interrupt momentary faults. Since many short circuits on overhead lines clear themselves, a recloser improves service continuity by automatically restoring power to the line after a momentary fault. Description In order to prevent damage, each station along the network is protected with circuit breakers or fuses which will turn off power in the event of a short circuit. This presents a major problem dealing with transient events. For instance, a tree limb that is blown off a tree during a windstorm and lands on the line may cause a short circuit that could cause damage. However, the fault will quickly clear itself as the limb falls to the ground. If the only protection system is the breakers at the distribution centers, large areas of the grid would be blacked out while the repair crew resets the breakers. Reclosers address this problem by further dividing up the network into smaller sections. For instance, the city grid example above might be equipped with reclosers at every branch point on the network. Reclosers, because of their position in the network, handle much less power than the breakers at the feeder stations, and therefore can be set to trip at much lower power levels. This means that a single event on the grid will cut off only the section handled by the single recloser, long before the feeder station would notice a problem. A normal breaker could also be used for this role, but because they are distributed geographically throughout the grid, as opposed to being centralized at feeder stations, resetting a breaker might take considerable time. For this reason, reclosers are used to automatically reconnect after a brief interval. There is a strong likelihood that the fault will be gone when the power is restored. If the fault is still present, the recloser opens again. The control system for a recloser allows a selected number of attempts to restore service after adjustable time delays. For example a recloser may have two or three fast reclose operations with a few seconds delay, then a longer delay and one reclose. If the last attempt is not successful, the recloser will lock out and require human intervention to reset. If the fault is a permanent fault the autocloser will exhaust its pre-programmed attempts to re-energize the line and remain tripped off until manually commanded to try again. About 80 to 90 percent of faults on overhead power lines are transient and can be cured by autocloser. The result is increased availability of supply. Autoclosers are made in single-phase and three-phase versions, and use either oil, vacuum, or SF6 interrupters. Controls for the reclosers range from the original electromechanical systems to digital electronics with metering and SCADA functions. The ratings of reclosers run from 2.4 a euro 38 kilovolts for load currents from 10 a euro 1200 a and fault currents from 1 a euro 16 kiloamperes. A torcloser's in action. Residential customers in areas fed by affected overhead power lines can occasionally see the effects of an autocloser in action. If the fault affects the customer's own distribution circuit, they may see one or several brief, complete outages followed by either normal operation or a complete outage of service. If the fault is on an adjacent circuit, the customer may see several brief dips in voltage as the heavy fault current flows into the adjacent circuit and is interrupted one or more times. A typical manifestation would be the dip, or intermittent blackout, of domestic lighting during an electrical storm. A torcloser action may result in electronic devices losing time settings, losing data in volatile memory, halting, restarting, or suffering damage due to power interruption. Owners of such equipment may need to protect electronic devices against the consequences of power interruptions. Sectionalizer Reclosers may cooperate with downstream protective devices called sectionalizers, usually a disconnector or cutouts equipped with a tripping mechanism triggered by a counter or a timer. A sectionalizer is generally not rated to interrupt fault current and is therefore cheaper than a recloser. Each sectionalizer detects and counts fault current interruptions by the recloser. After a predetermined number of interruptions, the sectionalizer will open thereby isolating the faulty section of the circuit, allowing the recloser to restore supply to the other non-fault sections. References Richard C. Dorff, ed., The Electrical Engineering Handbook, Boca Raton, 
CRC Press, pages 1319, ISBN 0-8493-0185-8, Edwin Bernard Kurtz, ed., The Linemans and Cabermans Handbook, New York, McGraw-Hill, pages 18 Euro 8 through 18 Euro 15, ISBN 0-07-036011-1, BM Weedy, Electric Power Systems, London, John Wiley and Sons, pages 26, ISBN 0-471-92445-8, Kurtz. The Linemans and Cabermans Handbook pages 18 Euro 12. Abiri Jarumi, Amir. Fotui Firozabad, Mahmud. Parvenia, Masood. Mosli, Muzan. Optimized sectionalizing switch placement strategy in distribution systems. IEEE Transactions on Power Delivery 27, 362 Euro 370 DOI, 10.1109 slash TPWOD. 2011.217106060.